Hello. Good afternoon. Okay, so this is like video day, apparently. See, I told you I would get back into doing videos once my kids went back to school. Um, so anyway, I have my uh, pork tenderloins here, and I'm going to get everything. I have my crock pot here. It's empty. There's nothing in it. I'm going to get everything ready for um, the crock pot because I have to leave here. I have to leave here in about an hour to go get a kid. So, because I have one kid home and the other kid's at school still. So, and she uh, has a late class. So, I have to pick her up or she could ride the city bus if she wanted. So, anyway, here's what those, um, uh, tenderloins look like pork tenderloins look like that I just buy they're kind of the they're the expensive brand but my kids and family seem to like them I used to buy the Jenny O ones I think that's brand it was um and they're about a dollar cheaper than these but I don't know I haven't had any issues with these ones yet um I don't really I don't really trim these I will have to wash my hands before I start the next project here, but I, uh, I don't wash, I, I, uh, I don't, I don't cut or trim any of the fat off, off, because <laughs> it would help if this was actually a sharper knife than it is, but it's not, and it's one of them serrated ones, so I can't exactly sharpen it that's all right and then you'll have to excuse me I have to wash my hands after I do this because uh, I don't like touching things and I'll get a thing and wipe up right here but one second you'll have to excuse the um, other noise um, I have the dishwasher running. I'll just wash that up with this for right now, and then I'll wash it better later. All right, so I got my pork tenderloins in here. They were garlic herb. Um, okay, forgot, I forgot one of my ingredients. Um, I had shown in, a vid, in my shopping haul video that I had some of this stuff. This one's not open yet seals not broken on it yet this is the one i had in my fridge this is the one same brand it's the one i use when i like um am making uh one of my oh like you know to keep your um apples from browning when you want to make apple chips in the dehydrator there was not much in here i think there was about a tablespoon in here now to those that happen to find this this video later on in the future I have had somebody kind of troll my videos and complain about how I don't do their crappy recipes well I'm just right now I'm using up what I had in my house and if you don't like the way I do that please don't get mad about it just uh you know cooking is very forgiving um, or at least I have found it to be so. Uh, oh, this is what I was getting in here. Um, I also bought some of this stuff new. This one's not open, but I still have some left in this, so I will be using this first. So, but we're going to do this first. I bought some uh, slow cooker seasoning mix um, for savory pot roast, although this isn't beef. Uh, the seasoning mix, the seasoning flavor is what I'm getting this for. So when you have a container, you know, one of these little pouches, I like to, I, you may do it a different way, but I like to hold the top and with my two fingers, just kind of, oh, that was the, the lights were going out. If you just saw the dark darkening there. All right. So I like to go like this and just, you know like that move my hands along the top I already did it so I don't really need to but what it does is loosens up what if there's anything up here so that way you can open it and not have to worry about anything coming out of there 
Um, doesn't always work the best, but I have not had any issues with it. Now, if you have a, a, a an issue with a lot of salt or whatever, by all means, please use whatever seasoning you like. Um, this is by far no, um, you know, set in stone recipe. So if you have a better way to do this, by all means, please post it down below. I love learning, you know, seeing what other people use in cooking. Now I had some of this left over from some other recipe and I have this one left over. I have no idea what I'm gonna, you know, if I'm gonna use both. This, this one here is filled to about that far on the container. I know I had to tilt it for you to see. And with this other, this other lemon one is to about here. I think I'll use this one because I think this one might be too much if I'm going to use this stuff as well. I do want some gravy in this. Um, I do want to have enough liquid in here. But, but like I said, please make sh remember, I haven't got, oh, I need to get the rest of this lemon first. <laughs> uh, which one, is, okay. I have to get some more lemon in here quick. I only put about a tablespoon of this, this uh, stuff in here. I'd say about three or four tablespoons. That's about what I put in there. Um, but anyway, so now I'm gonna put in this cooking wine if you want to go to the liquor store and buy your own cook wine that you will want to drink later please by all means do so I am an alcoholic in recovery for two and a half years now so I buy this stuff just because uh, I can screw the cap back on and use it later and I won't drink this because this I, I just I, I'm not I'm past that in my recovery so I'm just gonna pour the rest of this in here um, so that was, what did I say that was? It was about there. So that's about the, that's about as much as I want for that. And I'm not, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to use this one. I thought I would, but I think I'll use about, let's see. That one is to about there. So I'm going to use about that much. That's probably, this is probably a quarter of a cup that's left in there. And I'm going to use about that much of this. There's still plenty of that left in this one, too. So, um, oh, hold on. <laughs> I got to mix it. But by all means, if you are, um, if you don't want to use this, these flavorings, <clears throat> don't have, don't just, you know, don't feel obligated like you have to just because somebody on YouTube happens to be doing that. Um, that's the beauty of making foods is you can add and subtract whatever you want. Okay, so I have I buy a jar of minced garlic. Yes, I know. <laughs> Here I am buying juice juice like this and my minced garlic. I know I I spend forever uh, peeling garlic. So, I don't know. I'm going to probably do about that much. Maybe one more. About that much. <laughs> and there's some juice in here, so I'm going to grab some of the juice. So, that's how much I'm going to do uh, for garlic, because it's supposed to be lemon garlic. I will add just a little more garlic or lemon in here, because I want it to smell more lemony than it smells like this stuff right now. So... I want to add just a little bit so you do kind of want to go by smell occasionally as well for being a cook so um, I'm not going to add any salt and pepper because the salt and pepper is already uh, added via that packet so I'm going to put all this stuff over here I can set leave that there so I'm going to just get in here with my hands and mix them up and so I'm not too worried about all this because when I go to cut this later, this part will fall right off and then I just throw it in, you know, throw it away. But right now I want to get as much uh, flavoring out of that little fat piece as possible. And see this side has quite a bit of one too, but like I said, I'll be able to peel that off later. Now I'm going to um, wash my hands quick.
and then I'm going to, uh, let's see, what time is it? At about 2.30, because it's about 2 right now, 2 in the afternoon for me. Um, I'm going to put this on at 2.30 on uh, four hour cooking, which my crock pot says that's high heat. So um, four hours for this. And then I'll probably make some mashed potatoes and a, some kind of a steamed vegetable with this meal. So when these are done, I'll take them out. Oh, and then while, while the meat is out and it's uh, in a little dish, um, I will go in here and use, might as well take it out now, <laughs> and I will use some cornstarch. Now, please keep in mind, I don't get paid for any of the, you know, any of this products that I use. I'm just a housewife. And those are just things that I use, but I'll use cornstarch and water and make a slurry, put it in here just to thicken it up just a little bit. Um, and then I'll use that as gravy for the top of the meat and gravy for my mashed potatoes. So anyway, this was what I'm making for supper tonight. I um, Please keep in mind that this was not full a t full on tutorial. I did not measure anything. I will not be making a list of things below because this was just a throw together kind of recipe. Um, and I kind of kind of thinking I should put some more uh, garlic in there, but I think I might have already have enough in there. But I like garlic and my family likes garlic. So I might put just a little bit. I don't think I will though. I think I'll just leave it the way it is. And um, if you have any better of a slow cooker recipe for uh, pork tenderloins like these, uh, by all means, if you want to share your recipe or share whoever's you watch for a recipe, um, I get a, a lot of my recipes from cooks.com as well. Uh, so yeah, by all means, Please share whatever you know cooking is a is meant to be shared recipes are things that I think are meant to be shared so if you like this recipe cool um but okay all right I have to get going I got to go do some other things I see some people were texting me while I was doing this video so you're lucky you got three videos today I'm working on a fourth video actually after this one here so all right you have a great rest of your day Bye.